Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great day and your weekend's off to a great start. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm sharing with you the 10 cards I'm making with the Simon Says Stamp um, March 2019 card kit. It's called Lucky Rainbow and if kits are still available, I'm not sure if they are, I'll link them down below for you. But we're going to jump in with card number one. We're going to make a friendship card. So I have a panel here that I cut out with one of my stitched rectangle dies. The size of it is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And then I'm going to take this um, image from the larger stamp set. I'm going to treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool and then we're going to do some heat embossing. So using Versamark ink, I'll ink up my image and we're going to stamp this kind of offsetting it a little bit on the right side. Next I'll take some gold embossing powder and just go over my stamped image and then we'll go ahead and melt that embossing powder. Next we're going to use the sticker sheet. We're going to take the little horseshoes, there's two of them in there, and I'm going to stick them together and then we're going to flip it over and I'm going to take some real thin pieces of foam tape and add some um, adhesive behind here. Um, once I have my adhesive added, I'm going to place this in the center. We're going to call it a starburst. And now we're going to work on our sentiment. I wanted to use this lucky sticker, but I didn't want to make a St. Patrick's Day card. I kind of wanted to go more friendship. To give my sentiment a little dimension, I'm adding more foam tape behind my little lucky here. And before I remove the release paper, we're going to stamp the rest of our sentiment. I chose the sentiment that says, I'm so glad you're my friend, in the larger stamp set. And I'm going to do a little bit of masking on the sentiment. I'm going to mask off, I'm so glad, just using a piece of washi tape. And then I'll ink my sentiment up with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This is going to go on the very bottom portion of our Lucky. I'll stamp that. And then... I'll clean off my stamp here and then I'm going to mask off glad you're my friend. So I'm just going to ink up the I'm so and I'm going to stamp that right above the lucky. Kind of customizing my own little sentiment here. And I think this creates um, a friendship card that you can use not just for St. Patrick's Day. I'll just stick down my lucky. And then we're going to use this little embellishment pack from Buttons Galore that came in the kit. There's some little gold stars in here, so I'm going to pick a few of them out and kind of scatter them around my background. I thought we'd just stick with the gold stars here. I'll use my glue to attach my little stars. And then for my card base, I'm going to be using the Sunshine card base. We're going to add some foam tape behind this panel and then place this in the center of our card base. And that finishes off my first card. Very simple, but I think it'd be fun to give to a friend. <laughs> okay, now we're going to move along to card number two. For card two, I have a panel that's three inches by four and a quarter, and I'm going to add a little color to the background using some Distress Oxide ink. This is tumbled glass. Next, we're going to use some stickers. I thought we would use the, the rainbows in the sticker sheet. And again, I'm going to add some foam tape behind my rainbows. And then I did go over my sticker with my anti-static powder tool to remove the tackiness. Next, we're going to add our little clouds. One of them have um, a little heart um, with gold embossing on it. Super cute. And when I added my anti-static powder to that top rainbow, I lost the tackiness of my foam tape, so I just re redid that. We'll add the clouds, the clouds to our second little rainbow here. And I thought it would be fun to use our unicorns. We're going to place a unicorn. There's two of them in the stamp set here, or in the sticker sheet, and so I thought we would use both of those. Again, I'm adding foam tape behind there and placing them each on top of the rainbows. For my sentiment, we're going to stamp 
the one that says I want to be you when I grow up I'm going to use again my VersaFine ink we'll stamp that on some white cardstock and then just using my paper trimmer I'm going to just trim it down and block it off we're going to add some foam tape behind our sentiment and stick that behind our top little unicorn and then I did place it on the doll pink card base that I created with the cardstock in the kit. Next I'm going to embellish it a little bit more with a pink heart and a little gold heart kind of overlapping each other and that finishes off card number two. Okay for card number three I'm using a um, a frame die this is from Avery L and it's from the photo mat die set. I just cut out a photo frame and then another piece of cardstock with um, that will go right behind our little photo frame. Now I'm using Judikin's Embossable Window Plastic to stamp my sentiment. For this card I chose the one that says you're doing a fantastic job. I just embossed it with white embossing powder. And then I'll use my heat gun and go ahead and melt this. I thought for today's card um, we'll be making a shaker card. The Buttons Galore embellishment um, mix was super pretty. It's called the Lucky Charms embellishment mix and oh my gosh it's so pretty. But again I didn't want to create a I don't create too many things St. Patrick's Day cards so I kinda wanted to do, stay away from those although I do create a few here today but <laughs> Once I trim down my acetate, I'm going to adhere that behind my window frame, or my photo frame here. And then I'll flip this panel over and add some foam tape behind it. Um, I did double up on the foam tape because the embellishments pack was a little bit bulky, so I had to double it up. I'm not going to use the four leaf clovers that are in the, or they're actually three leaf clovers, but I'm not going to use the clovers that are in my little mix here. I'll add my the backing to my photo frame. And we have a fun little sh encouraging shaker card. Okay, next I thought we would embellish the bottom of our photo frame with some baker's twine. This is like a lime green baker's twine. I just wrapped around a few times. I'm going to tie a bow to the left. And then I thought we'd add some of this pattern paper from the kit. This is the pale yellow. I just trimmed this one down to a three and a half inches by actually that's not so this is a three and a half inches by four and a half inch um, panel I place it kind of wonky on my green apple card base and then since I have girls and this is probably going to be for one of them I thought we'd um, girly it up by using one of the flower stickers and little leaf that was in the sticker sheet but that finishes off card number three for card number four, I cut out a bunch of strips. These are half inch, though about three quarter inch strips of the pattern paper. And I, I chose the purples and the reds and the pink. And what I'm going to do is take a piece of, um, this is Stick It Adhesive. I just added it to a piece of white cardstock. This way I can layer each one of my pattern paper strips um, for my background. I'm just going to line them up, place down my strips, and kind of create my own multicolored pattern paper here. And I'm just making sure that they're very close together so you can't see any of the, the spacing between each of the strips. I think this is a very pretty color combination. Okay, we'll do this last one. And then I'm going to take a stitched rectangle die and I'm going to cut out a panel um, I'm also going to take a circle die and cut out a window inside this pattern paper here now once my panel is ready I'm going, I did cut out a white thin circle frame to go around my window there 
Next I thought we would do some stamping. I'm going to use this um, image. This is in a larger stamp set. It has the, the swirly circle um, all around the inside of it. And using my Versamark ink, I'm going to stamp this image all around my background. Kind of creating a, I'm going to call it a funky background. <laughs> but I think it turned out super neat. Something a little bit different. We'll do it a few more times. And I think that looks great. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my white circle frame around my window just using some glue. And then we're going to flip this panel over and add some foam tape behind it and place that on a white card base. I brought this white card base in from um, my cardstock that I had in my stash. Okay, I'm going to place my card inside my Misty. And then we're going to stamp the sentiment that says, I totally get you. It's a larger, more solid sentiment, so I thought I'd better use my Misty for it. I'm going to use my VersaFine ink to stamp it. And I'm glad that I did use my Misty only because um, a portion of that T wasn't in the get, wasn't stamping very well. So I had to stamp it a few times to get a, a really nice and solid um, sentiment here. But a lot going on in this card, but I'm going to call this card done. Um, something a little bit different, but I, I think the outcome was very, very pretty. Well, not really pretty, but unique. <laughs> card number five. We already started. I have, this is the pale blue pattern paper. I trimmed it down to three and a quarter inches, three and three quarter inches by five. And then I took a piece of diagonal stripe black and white paper that I had in my stash. It's a half inch strip and I'm just trimming it down so it'll fit my my pattern paper background. Next I'm going to add a piece of foam tape behind my stripe paper and adhere this all the way to the left of my card base. And I, all my cards today guys are four and a quarter by five and a half inches. For this card we're going to use our last rainbow. We're going to add some foam tape behind it and then we're going to add the two clouds. We're just going to place that in the center of our panel with, um, like I said, dimensional adhesive. After we have that done, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. For this one, I chose the one that says, Have I told you lately that you're amazing? I stamped that with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink as well. Next, I'm going to give my rainbow a little bit of shimmer using some Nuvo Glitter Drops. These are White Blizzard. It's going to give it a little bit more dimension also. But that finishes off that card. Kind of a very simple and easy one, but I think it with the rainbow, it's super cherry. Okay, for card number six, we're going to make a St. Uh, Patrick's Day card. I have two pieces of pattern paper. The smaller one is with the light green pattern paper, and it measures two and a quarter inches by four. And then I have the darker green pattern paper. It measures three and three quarter inches by four. I just glued them together. And then I did trim down a thin strip of black cardstock that I had in my stash. We're going to adhere this to the seam of our pattern paper. Next, we're going to grab our images. I thought the little girl with the little doggy was super cute. So I'm going to add some foam tape behind her. And then I'm also going to take the little three-leaf clover in the um, sticker sheet that has the, the gingham pattern on it. I did add foam tape behind there. Before we adhere those down, I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is from the Wooly Lucky, the smaller stamp set in the kit. I just stamped that on the upper portion of my panel, and then I'm going to tack down my stickers. And then we'll flip this panel over and add some foam tape behind it and place it on a white card base. And then for finishing touches, I'm going to use two more of the stickers. I chose the larger gold one, and then I'm going to put a small green one on the inside of the gold sticker there. And we're going to call that card done. Super cute, fun St. Patrick's Day card. <laughs> Okay, for card number seven, we're going to do another St. Patrick's Day card. And this time, I thought we would, um, let's see, we're going to grab the, the little 
this one I don't think would be appropriate for kids, but I grabbed the two little beer mugs there, and then this little guy that's holding one of the green beer mugs. I'm going to take the sticker that says happy and place it right below my beer mugs. And the panel size that I'm using for my background is three inches by four and a quarter. Kind of adjusting my little mugs there. And I did add foam tape behind my, my little guy. Next, I cut out a fishtail banner that was the perfect size for the St. Patrick's Day. I just added that sticker and then we're going to add some foam tape behind our banner and place this right below the happy. We're going to add some foam tape behind this panel. And then for this card face, I chose, I chose the orange peel. It's the bright orange. We'll just place this in the center. Hindsight, I think I would have probably maybe added some glossy accents to those little mugs, but um, it's 2020, of course. <laughs> but that finishes off that card. Okay, for card number eight, I'm going to use the stamp, the smaller stamp set with the llama on it. Love llamas, so this little guy is super cute. I'm inking him up with Memento ink, and I'm stamping it on the Nina 80-pound cardstock that came in the kit. I just quartered them. Now I skipped the coloring, but I did fussy cut him out, and I think he looks so cute. Next, I have a panel that's four inches by five and a quarter, and I'm going to use some mas um, posty tape, and I'm going to mask off the edges of this panel the right and left and the top and bottom. So it's going to give me a smaller panel on the inside of um, this paper here. Next, I wanted to use the green ink, the lucky ink that came in the stamp set. So I'm going to use this image to create a background. It has the little circular polka dots on it. I'm going to stamp that a few times, um, kind of overlapping on my post tape there. Kind of, we're going to fill in this background. And we'll stamp the edges a few more times. And when I stamped this one, I got a, a really juicy ink spot. So I'm going to try and dab it off with the towel, but it didn't work too well. But I thought we would cover it up with one of the little clovers in the stamp set. It's the largest one here. And I was going to use the green ink and then change my mind. I thought we would just ink it with uh, Memento ink. So we'll ink that clover up with Memento and stamp that a few times around our little background. Kind of filling in the open areas. And then kind of covering up that ink splotch on the very top. <laughs> okay, now to color in my little clovers, I'm just going to use the darkest shade of Copic marker I use for my little llama image. I believe this is G46. And I'm going to color in each one of my little clovers. Once my background is done, I'm going to remove my posty tape. And I creates kind of like a frame around my background. I'm going to add some foam tape behind this panel. And then this is going to go on the um, green apple card base that I created. Making sure it's centered, we'll place our panel on here. And then I'm going to add some foam tape behind my little llama. We're going to place him a little bit off to the left. And then for my sentiment, we're going to stamp the sentiment in the stamp set says, Wishing you a llama luck. <laughs> I'm going to stamp that on some white cardstock. And then I did just block it off and added a piece of foam tape right behind it. And then I thought about adding some of the the embellishment mix here, but then changed my mind. I thought there was too much going on in the background. But that finished off card number eight. I did fish till the end of that panel, though. I didn't block it off completely. Okay, for card number nine, um, I have a panel that's four inches by five and a quarter, and I'm taking a circle die that will fit the sentiment that says, so very proud of you. 
I'm offsetting it on this panel so it's only a por partial circle. And then I thought we'd create a real fun floral um, arrangement kind of around the circle. So I'm using a raspberry ink from MFT to stamp this image here. And I'm going all around um, the outside of my circle. Now after we have this done, I thought we would go in with some black ink using the very, um, the circle image with the polka dots. And when I did this, I really liked the outcome because you have that white center that um, kind of stands out. And then you have the polka dots that are um, hitting the raspberry ink. They're kind of toning it down a little bit. And I messed up on that very top one but I kind of just went with it. To finish off the inside of my die cut circle, I'm just using a black marker. For this card, we're going to use the doll pink card base. Kind of positioning it in my panel. And then I want to, um, this would work with any kind of color. Actually, I wanted to show you. Um, I thought the raspberry ink went really well with the doll pink. Um, cardstock but if you had an orange if you want to use your orange card base you could do an orange ink and I think the outcome would be just as pretty but I'm stamping the sentiment that says so very proud of you with Versamark ink and I'm gonna go over it with white embossing powder once that's melted I'm gonna add my panel on top of my card base here and then I thought I was missing something so I'm going to bring in some of just the clear embellishments that are in the um, buttons galore pack there and I'm adding them to um, around my circle there and then for my final finishing touches I'm going to take my white gel pen and add a little bit of faux stitching around the inside of my circle and then that finishes off card number nine now for card number ten we're going to jump into our last card today. I thought we'd create a background with a few of the images in the larger stamp set. Now I'm going to bring in some ink. This is Daffodil ink from MFT. And um, what I should have did is make sure my stamps were really clean before I used the lighter ink because I did add ink to my ink pad. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to clean it off really good and then hopefully it's not going to transfer any black to my panel. The panel size that I'm using is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And I decided to bring in my craft mat because I'm going to be overlapping a little bit. But I'm inking up. This is the um, the swirly centered image with daffodil ink. It's a it's a well bright yellow actually. It's real pretty. And I'm going to stamp this a few times around my background. Next I'm going to bring in some orange zest. It's a real pretty orange and it kind of coordinates with my um, orange peel cardstock. And I want to make sure that I didn't transfer any black ink from this stamp because I didn't clean my stamps too well. But this one is kind of like the, the starburst centered image. I'm going to stamp that a few times. And then next I'm going to take my persimmon ink. Ink up. This is the little dot cluster circle. I'm going to stamp that around my background a few times. And then I decided to use the second stamp that I had used, like the Starburst, and add a few, little bit more orange to my background. Once I'm happy with the way this looks, we're going to clean off our desk here, and now we're going to stamp our sentiment. I chose your amazing, and I'm stamping it on some black cardstock. I thought we would heat emboss with our Versamark ink and white embossing powder. I'm just going to use my heat gun to melt my sentiment. And then I did take my paper trimmer and blocked my sentiment off. Okay, I was going to go ahead and adhere my panel to my orange peel card base, but decided I had another card base with the, um, the Sunshine cardstock, so I just trimmed it down to a panel and then I matted my um, background panel on the sunshine cardstock. I did add foam tape behind it and popped it up and placed that on my orange peel card base. 
then I'll go ahead and add my sentiment and then I thought we'd bring in a little bit of black so these are Nouveau crystal drops this is ebony black and the center of those little starburst images that we stamped I'm going to add little black dots to and then that finishes off card number 10 here's some close-ups So here's a look at all 10 cards that I made today with the Simon Says Stamp March 2000 card kit called Lucky Rainbow. And I thought it was a versatile kit, not just, um, kind of, kind of opposite ends of, of the, um, the card kit scale because you have cutesy and rainbowy and St. Patrick's Day, but yet you have that larger stamp set, which is great for stash because it has... Um, a lot of encouraging sentiments like you're amazing. I'm so very proud of you. But these are the 10 cards I made. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I wish you a fantastic day, a fantastic weekend, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.